Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start right here. For the first time, an American patient has received a skull implant manufactured using 3D printing. The operation was performed on March 4th. Nearly 75% of the patient's skull was replaced by an appliance made of a plastic material called polyether ketone ketone, or P-E-K-K. -K. The implant was designed based on a digital scan of the patient's head and fabricated in precisely the right shape using additive manufacturing, also known as 3D printing. Oxford Performance Materials, the company that made the implant, has already been manufacturing and selling 3D printed PEKK implants for use overseas. This operation was the first of its kind in the United States, coming less than a month after the implant was first approved for use by the FDA. How about this? Researchers at UC San Francisco have developed a new technique that will allow them to turn off genes faster and more accurately than ever before. Gene switching is an important tool that, once mastered, can be used to treat everything from cancer and allergies to high cholesterol. This new method is called CRISPR interference, C-R-I-S-P-R, which stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. Don't you love science? Unlike the more conventional gene switching method, which commandeers the natural process of RNA interference, CRISPR interference actually blocks the transcription of messenger RNA, preventing the genes targeted by that mRNA from synthesizing the proteins they're encoded to produce. In other words, preventing the genes from expressing. Like RNA interference, CRISPR interference is a naturally occurring biological process. It's one of the ways bacteria use to protect themselves against viruses. Finally, researchers at the University of Georgia have conducted the first ever survey of the genome of one of Earth's most ancient organisms. The organism is called Methanococcus meripolutus. It's a microbe of the domain Archaea, one of the oldest and most abundant forms of life on Earth. Though Archaea have existed for billions of years and are found pretty much everywhere, they are one of the least studied and therefore least understood forms of life. Learning how these organisms work and how they evolved could answer some very important questions about the origin of life itself. This study is merely a promising first step. A patient receives a 3D printed skull implant, a new method for gene switching is being developed, and scientists are beginning to unlock the secrets to one of Earth's most ancient and mysterious forms of life. That's the good news.